Today we're going to learn how to multiply by tens. Here's my first example, 23 times 40. So first of all, we're going to multiply our ones. So I have zero ones times 23 there at the top. So if I have zero 23s, I'm just going to have zero. Now for the first time this year, we also have tens on the bottom. So now we're going to multiply the tens since there aren't any ones. So then we do this just like we did before. We multiply this times the top ones place value first. Four times three is twelve. We put our one at the top, two at the bottom. Then we multiply our tens by our tens. 4 times 2 is 8, plus that 1 we had up above, which makes 9. So our answer is 920. If it's written sideways like this, we can use our zero trick we learned last chapter and multiply the non-zero part, 41 times 2. 41 times 2 is 82, and then we have one zero. So we know we're going to have one zero here after the 82. So we'd get 820. So either of these two strategies will work. Here's my second examples. Once again, we start with our ones. And zero times 72 is zero. So we have zero ones. And we move over to our tens place value. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 7 is 35. Plus that extra 1 makes 36. And our answer is 3,600. If I have it written sideways, I could use the zero trick, but I prefer to have my numbers stacked on top of each other. So I'm going to actually rewrite this, so 38 times 60. It's important if you rewrite it that you put the number with the zero on the bottom so that this works out a little bit easier. So once again, I'm going to start with the ones. Zero times 38 is zero. Next, we move on to our tens. Six times eight is 48. And 6 times 3 is 18, plus 4 is 22, so 2,280. And those are my answers. Okay, now you're ready for your two practice problems. 34 times 20 and 56 times 40. Go ahead and pause. First practice problem, 0 times 34 is 0, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 3 is 6, so you should have gotten 680. Next problem, 0 times 56 is 0, 4 times 6 is 24, 4 times 5 is 20, plus 2 is 22, so you get 2,240. Okay, here are three problems that you're going to show me. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful night.